Hello folks, Simon here from Simon's Reviews and Simon's Drones. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Blackview MP60, which is a mini PC, one of which I purchased myself and I have not been in any contact with the company, so this is not a sponsored video. And straight away in terms of cost, I would put this computer in a more budget range of mini PCs, but honestly, I am quite impressed with what I've seen so far. So this computer uses the Intel architecture and the processor is a Celeron N5095. It is available with a choice of either eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of RAM. I would personally recommend going for the 16 gigabyte variation, which is what I've got. And this choice with the 16 gigabytes of RAM also includes a solid state drive with 512 gigabytes of storage space. The eight gigabyte RAM version only has a 256 gigabyte SSD. A fully activated edition of Windows 11 is installed on the computer and takes a few minutes to set up when you first turn this on. In the box, we have the computer itself, along with a couple of cables, including the power lead. Now, the power lead is going to be determined by your country. I'm in the UK, so I have a UK connection here. And a HDMI cable is also included. Elsewhere, we have this mounting bracket. So nice to see this included. There are also a couple of screws in this bag and the instruction manual. So here is everything that came in my box. Right, so now let's take a look at the computer itself before we set it up for the first time. The overall design here is a plastic one. It's very minimalistic, but I like it. It does what you need it to do. We have two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3 ports, and we have one LAN 1 gigabit port for network connections via Ethernet, and two HDMI ports, along with an audio out, a three and a half millimeter jack, and the DC power connector port as well. And a great feature here is that if the internal storage is not going to be enough for you, you can add your own two and a half inch solid state drive. And something I haven't seen before myself with these mini PCs, if you are not going to be adding that additional storage, you can in fact remove the bottom part of the whole computer, and that will create an even lower profile machine for you. Now, whether you keep that section on or take it off, you can mount this PC, okay? There are mounting brackets, as you can see here. And so it seems Blackview have definitely put quite a bit of thought into the overall design here. This is really a PC for basic productivity. It's not going to be for those of you that need to do heavy video editing or image manipulation, or even for you gamers out there. I would imagine some older games will run on this just fine but that's not really the intention, as I say. This is for basic productivity, browsing the internet, checking your emails, word processing, watching YouTube or streaming services. I think it would work absolutely fine as a media server. And one thing I forgot to mention, but I do like, is that we have this open cooling all the way around the top of the unit. And there are no fans that I know of in this machine either. So this will provide silent running. So let's go ahead now, get this computer hooked up to a monitor and to power and see what we are dealing with in terms of its actual practicality. Okay, so with the unit turned on just behind me, you can see it over there. Uh, we are greeted on the first switch on with the setup screen. So this does come with Windows 11, as I mentioned, and the setup here is fairly self-explanatory. So I will run through this. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the setup process here. One thing I do want to test out when we are able is the Wi-Fi. Okay, looks like we are loading into Windows 11 here for the first time. So let's just go ahead now and connect the internet before we do anything else. And then any Windows updates, driver updates should also be able to happen behind the scenes. And yep, looks like we are connected to the internet. Uh, Microsoft Edge, Ugh. I guess we'll use that for the time being. Oh, sorry guys, couldn't do it, had to switch to Firefox. Uh, let's go ahead and open that. Before we go to the speed test though, let's just check our Wi-Fi adapter and see what we are actually working with. So yeah, advanced network settings, Wi-Fi. And if we head down to view additional properties, yeah, we are connected to Wi-Fi 5. As I suspected, there is no Wi-Fi 6 here, which is a shame see what sort of internet speeds we are getting in reality. And it looks like about 350, three, oh, it's going up a bit. 
about 370 megabits per second. So actually not too bad. I have a gigabit internet connection and I am fairly close, as you can see, just up there on the wall to the internet router. So yeah, for Wi-Fi 5, that isn't too bad. If I did connect via LAN cable, which I probably would do since I'm so close, then I would be getting about 900 megabits per second on my connection. So next up, if we head to about your PC, there we go, and we'll see the hardware specs. And yeah, pretty much as expected, we are having the Celeron show up here, the N5095 at two gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of installed RAM. So great to see that as advertised. And yet we have the 64 bit edition of Windows 11 Pro. Okay, so browsing the web works absolutely fine. Okay, if that's all you need to do with this computer, you are absolutely sorted. It is going to handle it, no problem. I haven't tested this yet. I'm going to see if we can play some YouTube videos without too much stuttering and frame drops. So let's see what we are dealing with here. I've just typed in copyright free video so that the video that I'm making doesn't get struck down or anything. And let's enlarge the screen and bring up the advanced stats. Uh, let's see what we can do in terms of, oh, wow, we are actually already streaming or sorry, playing this at 4K. Now, you won't be seeing this in 4K because the Amazon player doesn't allow for that. But the video that I'm watching is currently in 4K and the computer is handling it absolutely fine. We have a solid connection. We have a fairly good stream health there. Yeah, buffer health rather. And as you can see, we are not dropping any frames whatsoever. So 4K video, this computer is handling beautifully. I've got to say, I am impressed with that. Yeah, very, very impressed. No problems whatsoever. It is not struggling at all. So there we have the Blackview MP60. And as far as mini computers go, I have been very happy with the performance here. Yes, it is definitely at the more lower end of the computer market. However, for your basic productivity tasks, it is going to be more than sufficient. The only thing that I feel lets it down is the poor Wi-Fi speeds. I would have liked to have seen a Wi-Fi 6 card in this system, especially because the prices of those have come right down over the last few months or so. It would have been nice to have one of those instead of the aging Wi-Fi 5 that has been included. But the Intel M5095 processor is still a decent performer and having that additional RAM and storage space, I feel is also going to go a long way. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and I hope it helped.